Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. Today I have lots of spring decor and DIYs for you. And then about half the video is also some cleaning motivation. So we're gonna get started in the living room where my husband is hanging a new spring print that I am so excited about. My husband's name is Robin and he's starting by getting down the decor we had there before. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just been up there a while and we're kind of over it. I decided to go bold with this huge floral print and I'm absolutely loving it. I was a bit afraid of it because I have a small room but I think it actually helps it to look bigger when you have some grand gestures. And then as always I love to get new pillowcases from Amazon instead of buying throw pillows. So I'm getting my pillowcases put on and I chose these beautiful birds. I'm going to pack away the Valentine covers and we'll bring those back out next year. And I'm just loving getting to change things completely up seasonally. And it helps me not to get bored and everything always seems fresh. Once I get these pillow covers done, I'm heading off to my bedroom and I'll give you a reveal at the end of the video. So for over here, I'm taking down these winter pillowcases, which I love. They're so soft and pretty. And even taking down this one. And what I got for here instead, instead of this one, I have this and then I actually have four, so, but ooh, they're all peony. See that? So beautiful, I can't wait. So I'm gonna get those switched out. I'm using two of these that I had in the living room because I don't have, a, because I had four and I only had two there before. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy decorating for spring. This is my first year of really decorating for each season and holiday, and I am really enjoying it so much. And since we're home more often, it helps to keep the house looking fresh and cheery with not very much money at all. I just like to add different touches and I'm saving our decor from season to season so that we can reuse it the next time this season rolls around. This little peony pillow kind of poofs as soon as you take it out of the plastic wrap. It's kind of like magic, but I am just loving this floral pillow. Wait till you see it on the bed. That is just a game changer. Look at that. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. See how that goes with just these peonies over here? I love it. Oh my goodness. Love it. This is why I wanted grays and whites is so then I can change my whole room with just a few little details. With that done, I have three easy DIYs to show you. The first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting these branches so that I can work with them. And I will say they are super hard to cut. So I'm using a combination of scissors and then my small wire cutters. And these came from Michael's craft store. Those were super hard. These are much easier to cut. So I'm just going to start placing these and then I'm going to glue them down. So I'm choosing that this is going to be the bottom of the wreath and this is going to be the top and that helps me place. So once I place them and I like where they're placed, then I'll start using my glue gun to help secure them. I don't want it too perfect, if that makes sense. I wanna just be kind of randomly putting these in so that it looks more natural.
Now I'm just going to be gluing some of these flowers to other flowers. I decided not to glue this in because I realized I could take these out seasonally and put different things in if I don't glue it down. So I'm gluing it to itself to other flowers instead just to have it be in the form I want it in to be in the shape I want it in if that makes sense not perfect because it's supposed to look like outside and real This next DIY is going to be for my dining room table. I'm putting some little Easter egg candies in the bottom of this hurricane lamp and then I have a couple of floral forms I just put in there. I found that one was much better. Just to give it a little bit more base, I'm going to be putting one of those artificial candles on top. And I did light the candle and honestly it's going to stay lit until it burns out because I don't know if I can keep pulling it out, turning it on and putting it back in. The original idea I saw was putting peeps and candies in a truffle bowl, which was also really beautiful. And they used a bouquet of flowers. It was actually tulips in the middle. I think that would be really pretty too, but I decided to go ahead with the candle. And you're gonna see, I was a little shy with the peep eggs and I might go get more so that I can fill it up a lot tighter. I end up putting this horizontally in there, as you can see now, so that it will fit better. You see how easy that is, and it's so cute and cheerful for Easter. Now onto a little bouquet for the side of my I got sink. these little rocks from Michaels, and I'm gonna mix them with white sand so that they match my countertops. And then they're gonna go in this vase with some flowers. I used to do a lot of crafting years ago and I completely forgot how absolutely relaxing it is. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your These roses came in a bouquet already and so I'm just putting them in the bottom of the vase and I'm surrounding them with sand to hold them in place. And then this is wired ribbon and I'm going to tie two knots and then a little bow and tighten the bow and then I'm going to trim the ends so that they make a little V and then it's done. At the point of no return, you pick up the pieces. I thought these went so well with my curtain, and then you're gonna see a little added decor surprise at the end of this video when I do my reveal. So it's 8:44. I have to be quiet because I'm the only one up right now. But I know that people are going to start getting up and they're not going to want to be filmed. So I wanted to get this done now. I wanted to take you around this morning and show you all my new spring decor. 
Unfortunately, when I woke up, I realized my house was a mess. My husband and I were out last night. And when I come home and I'm tired, I don't even see messes. I got no makeup on, threw my hair up so that I can do this really quick. But first I'm gonna show you our messes and then I'll get it cleaned up and then I'll show you the whole room. So are you ready for this? I don't know if I am. By the way, I'm here with no makeup, so now you know we're good friends. All right, so here it is. I have empty laundry basket, a box of stuff my daughter is de decluttered yesterday. I can't even talk yet. Snack tray, my shoes, pillows messed up, and table. I got this at Goodwill, but I'm going to have you guys help me decide what to do with my end tables, what would be pretty. I don't need to put lamps on them because I have these lamps. Okay, back to my my laptop, another snack tray, somebody's slippers, somebody else's laptop, and snacks, glasses, all the typical stuff. And this, we just painted this room, so we had taken, where is it, right there. Those are hangers that we had our router on the wall with. I don't know. This is just random stuff. This was because everyone says it's freezing cold in here. So I wanted to know what temperature is it really? Odd sock. Makes complete sense, doesn't it? So we got to get this cleaned up. And of course, I had taken this down. This was an art piece I got in Nicaragua. And we'll probably put it back up. But I kind of want to do the walls fresh. So yeah, there's my living room mess that we need to clean up now. I'm going to show you the kitchen. Oh, yep, I got a box here, empty box, empty salt container. So yeah, and then I'm going to take you to the kitchen now. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I forgot. I just got my first Norwex order. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Norwex. I'm going to show you this, but I got the mop, and that's what I really wanted. And then I got an oven cleaner. A thing that um, you spray your mattresses with that gets rid of like dust mites and bed bugs. And then a bath. Oh, this bathroom cleaner. It breaks down like bacteria enzymes for like odors around the toilet. So I'm going to try that. I'll let you guys know what I think of all this stuff. And I can link my own Norwex person in my description box. She's a dear friend of mine. All right now the kitchen I gotta be quieter because my husband's asleep in the next room this is stuff as I was changing out decor so that and see it organized in the basement I got these in bulk online because one day I couldn't get any so I decided to get some online and then we have our counter messes oh goodness a friend of mine called me the queen of clean and I guess what I'll say is you can't be the queen of clean unless you first have a mess to clean up. So I got that covered. These are dishes from last night. You can see some of my decor here. But I'll give you a nicer picture of that at the end. And then these need to be hand washed. Fortunately, this is dirty dishes in here, so I can just add to them. Then here's my kitchen island. We got my pocketbook. I decluttered those two towels, getting rid of those. My energy drink, camera battery. So you see a lot of this is mine. Oh, yeah, no, we got this. This was from painting, that needs to be put away. These are hinges because I got this new hutch and we were seeing if my hinges would work. I need to clean out this closet, which you'll see in another video, and declutter it. And we're getting rid of that because now we have, oh, I'm blurry. Now we have this one. So I've been working on my table. You'll see this. Yeah. So we need to get all of this random junk cleaned up. There's my tripod. That's not going anywhere, probably. Yeah, there's my messes. Okay, so let's get started. Also, I wanted to show you, I use the laundry bins also for whenever I want my kids to put away their things. I put it in their bin and that's my little hint without having to say anything. 
Normally, I ask people to clean up after themselves, but today, to be honest, I had just as many messes as they did, and I knew that the kids would be sleeping in as teenagers love to do on a Saturday morning, so I thought it would be just as easy if I just quickly picked everything up, and it really only took a few minutes in each room. I myself am an early riser, and the older I get, the earlier I tend to rise, so I do enjoy just getting to work around the house undisturbed. It's a very peaceful time for me. I find having the living room all bright and cheerful definitely gives me motivation to get things tidied up because it just looks so good and satisfying when I'm done. Now I can take you around the room. I saw this at Wayfair and then I compared prices to Amazon and Amazon was less expensive so I got it from Amazon and I do find that when I see something on Wayfair I compare price because I just ordered end tables and they were less expensive on Wayfair so it just depends. And then I got these pillow covers from Amazon because the colors matched but I didn't want floral pillows. I wanted something different, so I thought birds would be really nice. I love the way these, the color kind of splats out, this watercolor look. And there's this, they came in a pack of four, and they're so inexpensive. I will have them linked in my description box. If you use my link, it is an affiliate link. It does support my channel. And then this I got at Goodwill for about six dollars but I need to look up how to style an end table. I do have new end tables coming so I probably won't do anything until they come in but I might be asking your advice. I know the whole th do things in threes but that's about it. So then there's this one and this one and that's my spring decor for my living room. With the living room done, I'm off to the dining room. It's always really hard to see what my chandelier looks like. I'm gonna need to have the light shut off sometime so that I can show you, but it looks like hanging seashells and I just love it. All right, so these hinges I need to save out because my husband is still working on that because he's gonna drill holes in the drawers to put these. So this is in his little box and that I need to deal with Spanish flashcards. And it's still the matter of this. So for now, they're just going to go in the school closet because I'm going to be working on all that stuff. So here's my table and I do want to get a white cotton cloth to go under this because I do think it would look so much prettier with white under it. And then I have the matching one here, of course. This vase I got from Goodwill. And then the flowers came from Michael's. I always use a coupon. And then these egg picks came from the dollar store. And the little bunnies are also from Michael's. And then this came from Goodwill for about $6. And then these little cotton balls I got from Amazon. And I'm thinking of getting another pack because not quite as full as I wanted. This I already had that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just wanna trim some of this. And I got this at Dollar General and I want to incorporate some of these pieces hopefully into that if I can so I will definitely update you on that. It's actually a couple hours later because everyone got up and then they wanted to have breakfast and so I waited for them to clear out and now I'm able to clean up my kitchen. I like to get everything tidied up and then I can wipe down the island and the countertops. That concentrates all the mess over at the sink and then I know when I'm done with the sink, I'm done. I'm not doing any deep cleaning. I'm just trying to get things tidied up and wiped down a little bit. I'm not doing my appliances, just the countertops and the island and getting the dishes dealt with and I'll deal with deep cleaning at another time.
I love Wyman's for my glass top stove and I don't really have time for that so I thought I would try glass cleaner. I have to say I didn't do the best job. This glass top is really hard to keep clean. It is a whirlpool. You can let me know in the comments if you have one if you have a hard time with yours too but I really have to do the whole Wyman's and then scraping any crud off with a razor blade and then go in with the glass cleaner and it always looks nice. But I did a pretty good job and now I'm off to my dishes. I recently got the black dishes that you see in my dishwasher. I got them at Home Depot and I do like them. I did it because we have minerals in our water that stain things and discolor things. So I'm trying to move to things that are easier to keep clean and aren't as discouraging. When my light color dishes get discolored from water, that's super discouraging. I've even been moving my laundry away from whites. I'm not buying white sheets. I'm not buying white towels. I'm moving as far away from white as I can with the exception of my bedspread, which tends to clean up really well. I'm still getting used to having this third drawer at the top and I'm always forgetting to take the clean dishes out of it. So every time I do dishes, I find that there's clean dishes in that very top. I like to use white vinegar for my rinse on my dishwasher. I find it works really, really well. Now I'm just hand washing my Teflon pan. I have that wooden spatula and then my Rubbermaid produce keepers I also hand wash. This morning I so clear a lot as I need to see the Now my kitchen's looking pretty good and it's time for the reveal. The kitchen now is at least picked up to a point where I can show you my spring decor. I am loving getting a valance for this window. This is why I wanted to neutralize my house. I love having a valance for this window that is seasonal and getting to change it four times a year. So I have a fall one, a winter one, a spring one now, and I feel like I'm gonna love this so much. I won't wanna switch it for summer and we'll just keep this, but we'll see. And then over here, so I did get this curtain at Amazon. I didn't say that. And it's really nice. These are so, they're lined, like you can really get nice things there for a good price. And there's the basil that I already had, my basil plant. And then these roses came in a bunch like that from Michael's. And I got the ribbon at Michael's too. And then this little glass vase. And I got sand and these little silver pebbles at the Dollar General. And I wanted it to match, which I think I might have already said. I wanted it to match my countertops here. Over here is this little hedgehog. We've named her Penelope. And this actually, I got at TJ Maxx and it goes on this and the glue just let loose. See that? So I figured for now, it was a great little stool for Penelope and then we'll fix it later. And there you have it. There's my spring decor for the kitchen. And I am just loving it. This is why I wanted white and grays in my bedroom and honestly through the whole house. It's because then I can change everything with just a few little details and not a lot of money just to buy one package of pillow covers and one little pillow for the center. Up in the corner over my head will be a video popping up that gives you another idea for an Easter centerpiece. I did an Easter egg topiary and I have that video up there in the corner as well as another one that YouTube thinks you might be interested in based on things you've already watched. So remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I really hope that this video helped to encourage you and inspire and motivate you to be making your house look fresh for spring. Coming up in April, I'm in a collab with a bunch of other amazing YouTubers. We're gonna be spring cleaning. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do 
do more decluttering and organizing throughout March so that everything's ready to just be scrubbed up and wiped down in April. So I'll see you soon.